as we commence with the year of accountability, deep introspection is required in the following areas. One, has there been sufficient transformation in the justice sector to reflect the changing dynamics of a nation that has emerged from divisive past? Two, are we doing enough to ensure access to law and access to justice for all? Three, are we doing enough to ensure the wellness, professional growth, and specialization of our human resources? Four, lastly, is justice being applied fairly, justly, and swiftly? We replaced the apartheid regime, which was a perverted form of government, and replaced it with a true form of a democratic government. For this reason, we should ensure that all unjust laws of the past regimes are replaced with just laws. Our people cannot continue to be subjected to archaic and discriminatory laws anymore. Furthermore, Dr. Gengob says it is imperative that laws are enacted to help combat social ills which hamper socio-economic progress. As I recognize the efforts and commitments made with a view to improving the well-being of our citizens, I note with concern the prevalence of incidents of gender-based violence within our communities. It is a source of great concern that we continue to lose innocent lives, especially those of women and girls, as a result of gender-based violence, perpetrated mostly by us, the men. I'm, however, pleased that various initiatives introduced by the stakeholders in the criminal justice system as part of the process of intensifying the ongoing campaign to combat gender-based violence in our country. The head of state called for the speedy finalization of cases in the lower courts to avoid public frustrations. Justice delayed is justice denied. We can improve the service delivery of judiciary by avoiding backlogs of cases in the court. I understand that there is an issue of underfunding which causes these delays in resolving criminal dockets. I'm however, I'm however, I'm aware that of oftentimes judicial officers and prosecutors are faced of the choice of warehousing untried accused persons in custody or releasing them to the public. Therefore, this is one of the main issues that needs to be tackled. Emphasizing the importance of judiciary in a democracy, Dr. Gengob urged the organ to remain free from influence from other branches of government or from private or partisan interest.